everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. We've got one today called Before I Explode. And before you close out the video, because I've got Mom's knife, you might want to take a look at this one. So, this was suggested by YouTube user Matthew Parker. Wonder how he came up with that name. Thanks, Mom. Uh, we have Mom's knife. We have the shovel. And he suggested infinite shovel power, but I think that would make things actually way too easy. Uh, so I'm just going with normal shovel, which will take like six rooms to charge. And additionally, the catch here is that every single room... Uh, we are going to get the odd mushroom that makes your head grow. So the challenge on this run, the reason it's called Before I Explode, is so that we can finish the run, or we're going to try to finish the run, by beating Satan. Satan, not Blue Baby, because that would take forever. Uh, before our head gets too big for me to practically dodge, because I'm probably fairly soon going to be unable to see Mom's knife. So I'm going to start this out just by using the shovel, skipping the entirety of the first floor, and then going down to the next floor. So there's no stipulations here. Uh, I can go to all item rooms, I can go to all shops, all I've got to do is beat the game before the game beats me, essentially. Uh, which is, I think, easier said than done. The good news is we're going to get a ton of HP. The bad news is I'm probably going to have very few ways uh, to actually make use of the HP that we get, if you know what I mean. The other good thing is we're going to get tons of damage. What I mean by saying I, I won't be able to make use of the HP that we get is that uh, it's very unlikely I will get like a full health pill or something to make it worthwhile. But if I do, that'll be huge. Chariot's big. We might as well take the pill first just to see what that does. Puberty. Basically nothing except make our already grotesque head even more disgusting to look at sadly this had just cost me like three extra rooms to walk into we should be able to go to like the entirety of this floor we might as well check out the item room i can't replace my spacebar item obviously sure why not my reflection all right I, I think i've wasted a lot of time on this floor already and i'm starting to worry about my chances for success <laughs> that's okay only four more rooms until the shovel becomes usable again now the reason I didn't want to do infinite item power is because what I would do then is with the amount of health that I have I probably could have just gone down to Satan and just like fought him immediately uh, with mom's knife and possibly won even with three hearts and where's the fun in that right like a two minute Isaac run where I just beat Satan with mom's knife sounds like fun uh, having hit every single dead end on this floor is gonna be a serious problem for me uh, because I'm just gonna continue growing out of control but that's okay as long as I can still sort of see mom's knife I should be okay. I can't see mom's knife at all. All right. That's okay though. These rocks will guide me on my quest. And after this room, we will be able to uh, use the shovel. The question is, do I want to use the shovel or do I want to fight the boss and get the upgrade, whatever that is? The answer is, anything that helps me go one less room without getting big is, is what we're going to do, basically. So I am going to kill this guy. All right. We're going to use the shovel. I don't think it's worth fighting the boss. The chariot card is going to be very useful, don't get me wrong. I would love to come across the boss faster, there's nothing wrong with that. I, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have fought the boss and then used the shovel and like skipped two floors at once. That was a dumb strategy for me to avoid using there. Maybe we'll be able to make it work here. So far so good with respect to damage anyway, please be a full health pill. Tears down, that doesn't really make a huge difference in the whole scheme of things. A single full health pill would like, save my life here. Because I would have something like 30 hearts. Uh, I can basically just hold the knife out in front of me and stand still. I can't tell if there's... Oh, there was still a silkworm there. That's the problem is I can't see shit, Captain. Uh, we're getting real big, that's for sure. Definitely want to take this health. Definitely want to use one of these bombs to blow up that tinted rock. Possibly two if we have to. Alright, well we can't do anything about that, can we? First things first, let's just go fight the boss if I can fit through the door. How are we supposed to fight the boss if they can't even fit inside of the building? Anyway, Peep, get over here. You're basically dead. Sorry about that butt effing that you just got. You are deceased. We're gonna get some speed upgrades, which is, you know, potentially awesome or damaging. I'm still not 100% sure how that's gonna work out. What do you got for me, Satan? Uh, oh, that was just a total waste of, oh my god. We can do the greatest thing ever here. Turn all of our red hearts into spirit hearts will it just start taking no it doesn't take our heart containers it only takes our hearts that's real shitty actually anyway well we got a lot of spirit hearts I don't know if that's <laughs> now if we get a full health pill it'll be really awesome uh, but I think it's unlikely to happen does it sound like I'm rolling on the seat of my pants here I basically am I, I sort of have no idea uh, what's going on at this point the before I explode part is starting to definitely become prescient like we're only five minutes into the video and I'm already uh, enormous to the point where I kind of don't understand what I'm doing at all. I don't think we should go to the item room, honestly, because it's... Did I get that spirit heart? I might have. Uh, 
I don't think we should go to the item room because it's basically like two odd mushrooms that are just going to make us larger without actually charging our shovel at all. So I'm just going to back it up. I can't tell where I'm being hit because my hitbox is not the entire size of my body. It's only, well, it's the entire size of my body. It's just not the size of my head. All right, down to the depths part one. The odd mushrooms continue to stack up. We need to go a little bit faster. Compass would be an unbelievably valuable item, of course. Do you have a bomb? Oh, these guys are going to be a P in the D. I can't see the P's in the D. There we go. All right, so we're definitely going to use a bomb here. We're going to pick up that spirit heart and the other bomb and the key if I could fit in there. Uh, the good news is even if I get lost, it's only going to be a maximum of six rooms with enemies. So what I hope is that if we don't find the boss right away, obviously that would speed things up for us, but if we don't find the boss right away, I would love to simply uh, just not reach a dead end. I would love to basically be put on a wild goose chase because that means we're going to be in a much better position overall. So we're about halfway towards... Oh man, that's not good. Oh, the slowdown. It's crazy. Uh, this is probably the worst enemy we could fight right now. Although I did do an, a crazy amount of damage. I mean, my damage is out of control because essentially I, I'm getting a damage up every single room, which is what allowed me to kill Super Envy. Or at least segment him so quickly there. Segment it so quickly there. Alright, cool. Free item. We got a spirit heart as well, but... Uh, wasn't worth reaching the dead end, I feel. Because we are getting pretty darn enormous here. Eventually, we've got to reach, like, a maximum, right? Like, there's some point where we just cannot get any larger. Kill the hearts! Okay, that did not go fantastically. And we basically reached another dead end, which is going to require a lot more movement. Please tell me this isn't a dead end, because backtracking some more could be like seven... Oh my god. <laughs> seven odd mushrooms to get back to where we were. Alright, so this, this turned out to be a colossal disaster. We're taking up like 80% of the screen now. Maybe 80 is not uh, accurate. Also, how dickish is Necropolis for just constantly giving me these heart rooms? I'm just firing blind. I killed one. I can't see what I'm doing. Destroy! Oh, wow, that actually worked out surprisingly well. We should plant a bomb. You never know when we'll need those bombs or keys. One more room is good enough to allow us uh, to move on. I was really hoping the boss room would be here, because then we could go through two floors at once, skip the mom boss fight, which is probably going to be a pain in the ass. The thing is, I don't even know how much health I have left. So I'm pretty sure our death is just going to be like a total surprise to me, because I have so many heart containers and the spirit hearts are like off the screen. We might as well explore the entire thing now and see if the boss is here. It might be the worst idea I've ever had, or it might be amazing. My thinking is, like, if we're close to the boss, this is like a risk versus reward thing. Because we'll fight the boss. In killing the boss, we'll be able to use another shovel charge instantly. And basically skip two floors for the price of one. Like, we've already put in the hard work on this floor. So we might as well uh, just reap the rewards. There we go, finally. Uh, by, or like, might as well just eat it, basically. Continue growing larger and larger here. The only downside is, if we're not actually close to the boss, if the boss is in a totally different direction, then this is going to cost a lot of time and a lot of odd mushrooms for basically zero benefit. But there's the boss. Did it work out mathematically? Can't say with 100% certainty, but I'm glad it w happened regardless. I think it, it at least didn't not pay off. It didn't cost us too much. Did I seriously not hit him there? I guess not. There's still... Well, there were still two of them left. There we go. Open this chest. Can't even see what we got. Red hearts? Yeah, pick it up. Half a red heart. That's pretty useful. So Necropolis 1 is going to be the Widow, which we should kill in one hit probably. <laughs> yes, as you saw. Thank God we are getting some red hearts back. We're also going to get a boss item, which could... Well, Squeezy is some tears upgrades. We'll take that. Oh my God, this is horrifying. Kate, you have actually have to look at this. What is this? She laughed. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to not even go to the deal with the devil because I want to go down to the next floor. And I'm not sure they could even offer me anything that is worth my time. <laughs> like, what is this? Um, all right. We're going to go down to Necropolis 2 if I could find the hole. The Northern Lion story. Uh, and we're going to immediately pop uh, the shovel again and just go down to the womb. Because we can still get to Satan this way. Can we still get down to Shoal just by shoveling through the womb part too? I think we can. This is fucking nightmare fuel. Oh my god. I can't even see what's going on. Please be a full health pill. 
This is longer, I mean, like, I think we're further along than we got on the Ego run that I did last time. Which was also a fan favorite. Oh, get out of there! For similar reasons, I think. Uh, we're just, oh, I found pills. Alright, that doesn't help us very much. Full health pill would be amazing, of course, but that's never gonna happen. It's almost worth trying for a blood bag, because that would give us full health. Uh, sadly, I think that's pretty unlikely to happen. It's okay, kill you. Just hang out over here. Okay, now we should go to the mob trap room. Although it's gonna cost us a ton of backtracking to do. Maybe we'll get something awesome in here. Half of a red heart is not really my definition of something awesome. Something okay. Maybe we'll get something else. I'm just firing randomly because I can't see anything at all. I'm, I'm playing by echolocation right now. Alright, Chubb. Eat shit. Our damage is, like, seriously, I can't complain about that. That's the trade-off here. The damage is amazing. And if anything comes inside of my sphere of influence, it just, like, immediately dies. Oh, I guess I just walked into a monster there. Uh, but, this is still pretty difficult, and also this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I seriously cannot f function like this too much longer. Uh, we're taking up, like, fully 50%. We have hair coming out of our eyes! Look at that eye! That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen! And it just keeps getting worse, like, the more backtracking I have to do, the worse it gets. I can't- there's the door, okay. <laughs> I'm just playing by feel at this point. Standing still. Come at me, brain guys. I can't even see where the creep is to avoid it, so... Oh, there's one. Nope, didn't hit anything. I got hit myself! Turn around! <laughs> Every now and then I get a herp de derp Come on! There we go. Okay, we got a shovel. I used it. And then we're gonna drop down to the wound part two. I don't know if this is... <laughs> the thing is, it just gets worse and worse. And the hearts don't make it better. I almost welcome getting hit because it actually allows me to see what I'm doing for a change. The sun itself flashes before my eyes. Where? Okay, there. Track it down. Find it. We got some money there, I think. I'm just, again, playing entirely by sound right now. Oh, I thought there was a spider there. Okay, spider's dead. What about this douche bag? Is he? Oh, there he is. Get him. Okay. Do they draw? There's more money. Oh lord, please be a full health pill or shrink me down to normal size pill. Yeah, of course I'm not gonna dodge that. That's impossible. Telepills. That could be useful. That guy just didn't even stand a chance. This is the worst day of his life. For me, it was Tuesday. It's actually Saturday here. This video might go up on a Tuesday though, so that you know there is that. And again, I still have no idea how much health I have. Once I start seeing those red hearts disappear, I'm going to be pretty scared. But for now, I'm feeling pretty strong. Except, of course, for the fact that every single time I go through a door, I take up more and more of... <laughs> I just can't... <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I can't do anything. <laughs> Stop giving me dead ends. Again, we kill everything, but... I'm just an enormous ball of pure hatred right now. This is a great challenge run suggestion. Matthew Parker. I was gonna call you Chandler for a second. That wouldn't really make any sense, would it? Alright. Now the thing is, once we get down to the womb, we're like, we're stuck. Or not the womb. Once we get down to Shoal, we're stuck. Like, I can't use the shovel anymore, so we're gonna actually have to find the boss for once. Which could take a while. But here we go. This is the end here, technically. Thank God. I'm just gonna stay as far to the right as I can. It's gonna be a lot of fun dodging all those, uh, sweet Satan projectiles once I actually end up fighting him. I can tell that. Dodging the foot in particular and the bomb flies is gonna be awesome without being able to see any of them. Yep, just, just crash into me. You might as well, like, I, I, I can't do anything. I literally offer zero defense. I think I actually survived that one. There's another, like, uh, pills, uh, I've got pills card. We're just gonna avoid that. Sneak down here through the door. This room... Shouldn't be that difficult. Oh, there we go. Took some damage. Can't see shit, Captain. Uh, keep it up. Boss room? Maybe at some point in the near future? The Loki didn't die in one hit. I don't know what to do. I feel like a 17-year-old Mike Tyson when I didn't knock somebody out in the first round. I'm like, Coach, what? I no, most men die from one punch from my golden fists. Or my knife, in this case. Oh, my God. It's a fucking dead end. I can't dodge you, lasers! I'm sorry. 
I would love to offer something better. Gee. <laughs> At least I can still fit through the doors. <laughs> but it's... It, I don't know, I'm just playing by feel right now, basically, where I'm like, if I was normal size, this is the way I would walk to get into the doors, and it seems to be working out fairly well. Not being able to see any enemies is, is a, a problem, that's for sure. I don't even know if we can use the shovel, I'm just gonna save it, because we, we're only beating Satan here. Can you imagine how large I would be if we tried to beat Blue Baby? Uh, and I've still got health, that, amazingly, I think we somehow might be able to make this work for us. It's... I can't... do anything. I'm too... I can't dodge anything! Get into my knife death! Oh, oh, I started losing health. Okay, this is gonna come down to the wire. There's our boss. I can't see you, Monstro. Monstro! Monstro! I killed him! Totally by accident. Alright, I'm... Let's not mince words. This next fight is gonna be a fucking nightmare. Here we go. If I could get through the door. Let's do this, Satan! Is this the right spot? Nope! <laughs> Come at me, bro! You should die very quickly. Are they both dead? I think Satan's alive now. Oh, he is! Oh, I killed him! Tank him! Tank the hits! Where's the feet? I can't tell if this is good or not good. Oh, is that- that's not- oh my god, I'm gonna win! I won! Fuck everything! <laughs> this is the face of your demise! I don't even know what to say about this run. Uh, thank you, Matthew Parker, for fueling my nightmares forever. I don't even want to go through the chest, like, this is the screen that I want to leave you guys with. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been one of the most fun challenge run suggestions I've ever seen in my entire life. Also, one of the most horrifying images. Let's make it breakdance. Spinning around like Linda Blair's head in The Exorcist. In any case, thank you guys for watching what is undoubtedly the most absurd run I've ever done. Successfully, believe it or not. And in any case, I will see you guys next time. Continue suggesting your challenge runs. I will do the ones I deem most insane. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thank you for watching.